Saturday's fun. Um, pretty much people from all over Central Florida come. We got open sparring. If you're not a gym affiliate, you got to pay $15 to get your ass whooped. Today is Saturday sparring. This uh, so we don't spar a lot here. I like to my guys to kind of drill more, save their brain trauma for the actual fights where we make money. But today is our sparring. We spar every Saturday, 11 a.m. sharp. All the best fighters in Central Florida, some in Florida, come over here and get work with us. So we got some of the best guys in Orlando, Central Florida here. So. Um, you know, it's a drop-in fee, 15 bucks for guys that are uh, not part of our team. But most everybody here is part of our team. And uh, get good work in. And then guys, when we're sparring, look Chris, look good. Cause we got Natty Man the fighter here, okay? And uh, it's an honor to have him here. Um, it's big, man, this guy's yeah. been blowing up. Guy's been blowing up in the last, you know, few months, man, and and he's a brother too. So we want to support everything he do, okay? <laughs> Jumps the boogie, tiptoe through time. Trust the boogie yogi till I free my mind. Touch the boogie yogi till I feel alive. I feel it inside. I'm feeling the vibe. Uh. We like to, we like to jam, we got the funk, we like to keep out the man, slip in with ten toes down, we got the pump, we like to keep out of gas, we like to, we like to fly, get out the way, we about to clear out the sky, ain't no fear in the sky, ain't you feeling the vibe, ain't you feeling the healing, I'm feeling this ink on my pen, for the homies doing time in the pen, perfect time in the wind, I ain't got nothing to lose, I ain't got time to pretend, and I got God on my side, gave his life for the guy, I'ma live with the Lord, Satan trying to take what I feel to destroy, to the truth, on my knees and I'm praying that my feet don't fail me now. Next baddest motherfucker in the game. People know who he is. They can front like they don't know who he is. Cool. I ain't shit. I ain't gonna be shit. He'll carry it for me, man. Guys, crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, you get in here and you know there's so many high-level guys in different areas, and you're gonna get humbled. You know, if you're if you're pushing yourself, you're getting yourself tired. You know, you're exhausted going into these final rounds, and you just keep pushing yourself. Um, I had uh, Greg Jones. You know, Greg Jones. He was uh, one of my uh, high school or college wrestling coaches, and he told me it was like one of his philosophies to make yourself as tired as possible. So that's what I try to do in here: make myself uncomfortable, make myself tired. And then I'm doing these rounds with these, you know, high, high-level professionals, exhausted. And uh, sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna get submitted. Sometimes you're gonna get, you know, taken down. But it's just, it's just that grind. Keep coming back and and, and keep looking to improve. Uh, check your ego in at the door and, and, and always be a student of the game. We have about 30, 30 plus people on the mat. Big love sparring. When it's time to grapple, look. <laughs> We got eight people on the mat. That's what happens every time. These guys want to win fights, but they don't want to grapple. Grappling wins fights. <laughs> the striking makes you the paycheck, but the grappling wins the fights. These guys always skip the grappling. That's my only issue with this with these guys, man. When I was with Julian at SWAT, I played uh, I played professional hockey for 20 years, and I was an enforcer, and I uh, I studied I studied uh, fighting this entire time that I was playing, and I was training with Julian to prepare myself for hockey seasons. But during that time, even the build-ups with uh, working an American top team and then swap before we made Fusion, you could just see this team developing. A lot of bonds between friends and people pushing each other 80, 90, 100% in practice, but then being able to shake, shake hands and give hugs afterwards, and it really just formed from there. You see the relationships of the people in this gym, it's, it's absolutely wild. You won't see this anywhere else. The guys who have priority fight, those are guys I gotta spend my time with. Um, and the other guys that are amateurs or, or lower level pros, they gotta just, you know, wait their time putting the work, you know, and be motivated by the other guys at the top. But we're still a very small team. You know, we got 30 professional fighters. 
I got about five coaches, and everybody gets one-on-one -on -one attention still, though, so, you know. Most guys get more focus, but everybody gets good attention, so it seems to be working out so, so far. To come up on an MMA fighter is insane. Uh, if you want to do this as a living, you got to dedicate your time, your money, like literally everything. It, it, it is a sacrifice, but it has a lot of rewards. Um, I mean, I, I skip work. Uh, I don't work anymore, thank God. When you get to the, the level that I am at now, I fight for the UFC. It, it becomes a, a job, a, a literally everyday job. And then being able to train with Fusion, where every single person from around the world is not just not just here in Florida, but it's around, you got people coming in from Singapore, uh, Brazil, Russia, they're all here, they're all training, all UFC fighters, all top level contenders. And to be able to come in here and train with everybody is a blessing. I, I got to the UFC this year, this is my first year in the UFC, but I'm at a beginner's level. What they do, it's not the end of it, it's not the high road, you're not at the end. You gotta keep grinding, you gotta be better because every day someone else is getting better than you. So every day you gotta be in the gym, you gotta be drilling, you gotta be on top of it. Uh, it's, this is where it begins. To get here is where it begins. Not when you start fighting, not when you start training. When you get to the UFC, that's when your career begins. So you gotta step it up. It's not easier. Dolph Vieira, man. Just got into the UFC, I wanna say five time world champion. Monster. Never seen a guy transition from jujitsu to MMA like that. People can stand in front of him, think he's just a jujitsu guy. Probably one of the smoothest one-two in the game, and he's five and zero. Oh. Just made his, just making his UFC debut, so they'll see. His last fight was in Poland. He fought, I want to say, the number two guy or something like that in in Europe, ten and one. Beat him in forty seconds. His bop, his swag. They'll see, man. They'll see. But I think Hadolfo Vera, I want to say, two years he'll be middleweight champ. Então eu escolhi aqui porque eu vim morar em Orlando, né? Faz um ano atrás que eu me mudei para cá. E aí eu tinha começado a treinar com o Libório, né? Mas aí não, a gente não estava conseguindo gente para treinar comigo lá na academia que o, que o Bruno dá aula, meu amigo. E eu já tinha vindo aqui uma vez, o Jacaré tinha me trazido aqui para treinar e eu gostei muito da galera, eles me receberam muito bem. E, e aí depois, esse, esse ano, eu resolvi mudar para cá de vez e começar a treinar aqui todos os dias, fazer toda a preparação da, 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 das minhas lutas aqui. E me sinto muito bem aqui na Fusion, eu tenho, fiz muitos amigos aqui, a galera é muito gente boa. E, e é isso, me sinto em casa aqui. I, I believe like uh, as we say like iron sharp iron. So we need to learn from, from each other and, and push, you know, and, uh, just like uh, I know someone is, uh, I inspire someone and, and a lot of like the the guys, like for example, here we have a Jacaré. Like I, I've been watching Jacaré since I was like uh, from the from the BJJ. He's a big champion in BJJ, so he inspired me a lot. So we we push each other. You know, it's, it's not about training only, but like uh, it's a, it's a, it can be like a whole model. So now my neck is like this. I'm going with Hadolfo. Bright idea to shoot on him, jam my neck. Come with the territory. So now, for at least the next three days, I'm gonna be like. Well, this man right here got the worst feet in MMA. Just letting you know. Just, just make sure. He let, let the world know that this man's feet. Got the worst they don't look like this, but we're gonna play basketball. And you can't ball worth the shit. All that's gonna be done. Will, take him on the court, man. Show him what happens. Go right here, guys. No, no, you told him to. You didn't say me. Guys, my man right here just won the Masters boxing match invitation. Hey. Everybody, thank you. Everybody this help. man is way older than everybody here. How old are you? Tell everybody. 47. 47. He's training on his mat with all the pros, all these monsters we got. He's 47 years old. That's crazy, guys. It's the, it's the pedigree. It's the difference between pedigrees. You got, you got guys like Leo and Adolfo and the kickboxing champions, MMA, UFC. I mean, you have jujitsu world champions. It's the pedigree. There's so much talent from different disciplines in this gym that it doesn't matter what you do. Somebody does what you can do better. Somewhere in this gym, whatever your weakness is, there is somebody here that will can expose you. And that's what's amazing. That's why everybody comes here.
because you're just in not only that but there's so many different sizes with those disciplines that you, like you can't emulate that you can't you can't just put that together so like I said you walk in the door it's not tough to see there's all shapes all sizes all everything all disciplines and the masters of their disciplines all feeding at the same trough pushing each other the team atmosphere is unbelievable I can't say enough about it